Isn't the next exit due soon? I don't know if I this have helps the same or not. Feeling that time has slowed down while we were talking. Oh, here it is. I think we should be exactly where we want to be. Okay, we are. Uh, did we ever use Harvey and inappropriate items here? Probably not. What do you think of this guy, Harvey? <laughs> A control freak who looks like he can only count to two. This ought to be fun. What do you think of this guy, Harvey? He seems a little nervous, if you oh, ask Oh, crap. Me. I didn't use him with Mr. Frock. I think we'll see Frock again, though, so bear with me on that. I'll try to remember. Uh, we've talked to him. Sheriff Edna Conrad, <laughs> elevator squad. Get out of the way. We need to examine the lift for fingerprints. Nice try, Sheriff. But the lift is under the jurisdiction of the transit police. I think he's actually too dumb for a stratagem to work on. Did I miss? What's that supposed to be? My ticket for the laundry lift? But it's not. Oh, I don't know. What's that supposed to be? Yeah. My ticket for the laundry lift? Okay, he's kind of on a one track there. I think he'll just holler. Ooh! Yeah, yeah. I think we've, uh... Uh, oh, I don't think we're allowed to disturb the lovebirds. Harvey. Yeah, great, cute. Can we get on with things now? <laughs> a man, a, a stuffed bunny after my own heart. What the hell was that? Was that was a potty again? Wait, no, we were in the potty. What the hell was this? Oh, is it B man? Oh, cool. What do you make of this guy, Harvey? I don't see anything unusual about him. Oh, this is where we need to go anyway. This is where the bartender is. I don't have any sound evidence against him. Do you like pots? That's a rather personal question. Would you like this appointment for therapy? Do I look like I need therapy? <laughs> Let's put it this way. If this were a rhetorical question, you'd need a class in rhetoric first. Oh, B-Man, you may be my new hero in life. It's always been Hunter S. Thompson, but... Do you know what kind of key this is? It's not the master key, that's for sure. That one is big and made out of gold. It is strange, though. I wouldn't know of any other doors with their own keys, except, of course, uh -huh. the door to the doctor's hidden room on the second floor. But he always keeps the key in a safe place. Tucked away in his bum. Sorry. Was watching uh, Shameless, the British version. I don't think I want to watch the American one. I don't think I'll be willing to accept that there are no guns in projects. <laughs> And by projects, I mean, I don't know, is there a nice way to say slum? Uh, let's just roll here. And why is there a bar? Well, why not? It is Dr. Marcel's world. What do you make of this guy, Harvey? I'm trying to figure out where he's looking. <laughs> Considering that space is curved around mass, it's he's looking possible at himself. that he's looking at a point behind the horse head nebula. And considering his expression, someone must have painted the horse green. That's just freaking great. May I see your liquor license? Of course! 
I always keep it in a safe place. Right next to the arm of the last cop who asked <laughs> Whoa, me. Whoa, dude! It's not that important anymore. <laughs> nice guy, that cop. But a bit careless with his arms. <laughs> oh, gracious. That's just great. Do you need a pot? That's supposed to be a pot. That thing behind me, that is a pot. Ah, the big that thing. That barrel over there, with a shovel sticking out? That's not a shovel, that's a spoon. Hmm, a spoon, you say? Well, was there anything else interesting? Here, that was appalling. What did you do with the contents? You didn't drink it, did you? <laughs> of course I did. Whoa. Mm, no problem. Just don't panic now. Do you know the number for the poison control hotline? <laughs> no, I have no idea. Well, let's say you've taken the first step in that direction. Oh, well, there you go. I have experience with that number, too. Oh, did we lose it? Uh-oh, I hope we didn't need it for anything. Do you have any idea what kind of key this could be? He'll probably could tell be us. The key to Dr. Yeah. Marcel. I wonder what he gets up to in there. Well, we need the spoon, but I don't think he'll let us have it. Hey, don't touch that. That's the only spoon I could find in the whole house. So, I think we need him to go away. I don't think that's it. Phone call for the barkeeper! Oh ah. no, not again! Tell him there's neither a Mike Roch nor a Hugh Jass here. <laughs> oh yeah, and tell him I know where he lives. <laughs> oh, it's Bart His little Simpson. sister really has a fine set of teeth. <sighs> Would be a shame if anything happened to them. A real shame. Uh, Bart Simpson. Ah, oh, crud. Uh, uh, I, I, that just broke my train of thought. What we need is him to go somewhere. He makes drinks. Is there something Barkeep? on this he'd have One to go drink, find please. the ingredients Of course, for? my dear. What will it be? Alright, uh... Shoot. Nothing. I'm not thirsty at the moment. Um... Uh... Yes, I think I can learn the barkeeper's handwriting. He's a bit dyslexic, it seems. He even writes Stinky Drink with three X's. Okay. What have we done? There's only one choice available. Stinky Drink. Man, this barkeeper has the worst chicken scratch since Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee had the tiger claw, Edna. No wonder you couldn't read it. So did she alter that or not? Wait. Okay, barkeeper's signature. Uh, I'm just thinking if he needed to make a... Can we put it on there? What shall I write? Uh, well, we know he won't go anywhere for those. X, X, X. Okay. All right. Um, does that send him on a mission? Barkeep, one drink, please. Of course, my dear. What will it be? One XXX, please. It's not on the menu. What? Let me see. You're right. What came over me? I don't even have the ingredients for that. Ah! Where the hell am I supposed to muster up minced uh. meat? If you'll excuse me, I have to go to the basement and fetch my rifle. 
<laughs> oh no, he did the walking down behind the bar thing. We used to do that in the kitchens. Uh, uh, pick up the spoon, love. Uh, before he comes back. Uh, most kitchen kitchen lines do not have stairs behind them, and some of the ones, some of them are open like a Denny's to the public. You can see the cooks back there. And we used to do the thing where you bend your knees behind the behind the the work counter and make it. You'd say, "Hey, I've got to go down to the basement to get that," and you'd walk lower and lower. And lower. <laughs> oh gosh, I haven't thought about that in a million years, and it was just stupid. I mean, <laughs> this shovel is exactly the right size to eat ice cream with. Yeah, it is. God, I love ice cream. I can't buy ice cream because I have a weight problem and I will eat all of it. God, I love ice cream. Harvey is a treasure I would never bury. Not even if a pirate's curse had been laid upon me? Mm, well, yes. In that case, Whoa. yes. Yippee! Oh, gosh. So, try to think where the furnace... For Oh God! Do we have to go through that whole laundry lift thing again? Uh, wow. Uh, this room is incredibly bright. I think let's move her into the foreground in case YouTube decides to use this for a thumbnail. Uh, I think I'm going to take a break here. I've played for quite a while. Now these come up whenever I get them done, and I, uh, with games like, to me these are kind of like puzzle games, and uh, my brain only can stand so much of them, and I start to fry out. They're not the easiest thing in the world. I'm not a natural to this. I just, I love the humor in the damn things. I think they're just funny as hell and entertaining. But I can't, I can't do them for hours and hours, and I don't get to them every day. But trust me, they do come up as soon as I do it. Well, actually, I space them out over it. I try to put one up a day, but I'm not, I'm not trying to adhere to any schedule on them. Uh, the main thing that's on this channel, I'm sorry, but it's Don't Starve, and uh, I play this because I love the game and I love, uh, I love the humor in it. And they come up when I get them done, so. Anyway, thanks for joining Edna. She doesn't have much of a ride here. I guess she does inside her own mind. But Edna and Harvey and I will be back. I don't know what the hell we'll be. Well, I, no, actually, I don't know what we're doing. I guess we're going to go find whoever the hell's down in the basement. Alonzo. I know he's not Alonzo, but he's somebody. I'm not sure of anything else. That signature thing was weird. I didn't think it'd take us to the bartender. I thought it would be uh, the uh, forms, but I don't. May I? I think that whole records room is maybe later on in the game. You never know. Okay, we found dinosaurs and a bunch of other stuff. So I'm going to take a break. I pray that all the sound is all right on this. Y'all take care of yourselves, and we'll be back. <laughs>